Hey guys, Gina back with another holiday collection video. Today I am going to be showing you guys my very small, but just enough to film a video for you, <laughs> collection of holiday and Christmas blow molds. You guys, I love blow molds so much. Every time I see them in someone's house, I just get that warm, fuzzy feeling in my soul. Whether it be Halloween or Christmas, you guys, blow molds are fantastic. They just have that timeless classic look to them. There's so many different kinds too. I mean, the variety of Santa Clauses you have or the tall candles or whatever, there is just so many of them. And who can forget Griswold family Christmas, him kicking around the reindeer. <laughs> That's what always comes to my mind too. And my goodness, you guys, there are so many different sizes you have from the tabletop to the big ones for outdoors. And I have just a small collection and I thought I would show you guys what I have. I'll start with the first one that I ever got. This was from a yard sale many months ago. And this was in a box just laying there. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's a Christmas blow mold. And the husband, when I asked how much it was, he goes, oh, that was in the box. And I go, yeah, it was. His wife was like, you don't decorate with that. And he was like, yeah, but it's kind of been in my family for a long time. So his wife made him get rid of it, poor guy. But he was okay, but he only charged me a dollar. I was surprised because he was so sentimental and he only charged me a dollar. But this is an empire and it was made in 1968. And his button's a little bit chewed right there and he's got some fading, but he is still good to go. And we've already lit him up and he has been glowing for us at nighttime. I found this guy at another yard sale, which surprised me because I rarely find blow molds at yard sales. Every blue moon you will see one. And I just happened to be able to pick up a couple of them this year. So that was really awesome. This guy was made in 1999 by Grand Venture and he is 20 years old now and he is so cute. I have yet to find an actual blow mold at a thrift store for sale, but I kind of came a little close and maybe you guys can tell me whether this counts or not, but I found <laughs> a blow mold Santa boot. And this is made by the Blinky company, the Blinky products, and it is newer. And you guys can actually still buy these online. I looked it up. So this could have been from the past five years and they're still selling them now. But the cool thing about this is you can put whatever you want inside. And it was so cute because I had a ton of greenery. I was going through another box, if you guys saw that one, of all that plastic garland and foliage and stuff. And my son, who is three years old, he said, Mom, let me put the bouquet together. So I wanna show you guys what he came up with. So this is my son Harrison's creation. <laughs> and he said right here, he says, this is a waterfall right here. <laughs> but he took a little bit of everything I had and put it in here. And I wanted to show you guys because he's so creative. <laughs> but that really tickled me. And I actually have this up on underneath our TV so I can look at it every time we turn the TV on. So I'm going to leave it like this. I was, I did have plans for some of this greenery and stuff, but you know what? This is much better, don't you think? <laughs> I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace one day and an ad came up for free blow mold and they were giving away four of them and they were all random. So I wrote the lady, she was literally down the street from me, which rarely ever happens. And I got them and so I went and picked them up and she wrote me back and she said, oh, somebody wanted one of them. So I, get, so I was like, all right, all right. <laughs> but I still ended up getting three at one time, which is awesome because I was so scared. I wasn't gonna have a video of blow molds for you guys this year, but now I feel like I have enough to show you. So let me show you the three that I got. So here is a sweet angel, you guys. Oh my goodness, isn't she precious? Look at that face. Oh, she is so sweet. A little bit dirty. I did wipe her off, but she needs a good bath. Let's see if she's got a date. She does not. 
But what's cool is they actually put, I'll show you guys, an LED light bulb in there. And this is cool. I think I'm actually gonna swap out some of my other incandescent bulbs and put those LED lights in there because, you know, this is older plastic and it just kind of gets to be a fire hazard with the cords being old and stuff like that. So anytime you can replace a cord and put a fresh bulb in, it's always a good idea. There she is. I'm not sure what happened to the rest of the family, but here is Joseph. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe through the years or something, they just became old and brittle, or I'm not really sure. But I love the pink color on him. Very mod. And his hole is right there for the light. And he is Empire, made in the USA. But there is no date on him. They have so many different nativity scenes, so many different sets of Mary and Joseph. And I just thought, hey, this is cool. So now he just looks like he's just praying and meditating. And <laughs> so we'll hang on to him and maybe we'll get some more family members, some shepherds and other thing. And maybe we'll have the whole gang. This is my favorite one from that bundle. Oh, you guys, look at how beautiful this angel is. And she's huge. <laughs> so she stands about, I don't know, two and a half feet tall maybe. And she is just gorgeous. She does have a little bit of tree sap on her. So if any of you guys know a gentle way of getting that off, maybe just some super hot water on a rag. I haven't tried that yet, but I will next. She is Union Products 1988. And she's gorgeous. I love her so much. Went to a flea market, you guys. They finally opened up a flea market in our area, which was so exciting. I woke up super, super duper early, and I went at five to go check. It was still dark outside, and it was cold and windy, but it was so worth it, you guys. This was the first thing that I bought at the flea market. It was an Empire tabletop candle. This was made in 1970 and it was literally just like laying on a table with a bunch of stuff. And of course, you know, I zoomed into it right away, but the guy sold me this for five bucks. So that was a great deal. And it's in really good condition. I already wiped it clean and everything and it's in my decor display right now. Oh, you guys, this is so much fun. Check out the detail on this candle. It says Noel. Even the flame has a little bit of coloring to it. And this is super fun at nighttime too. Just last weekend, <laughs> I got this candle. Oh my gosh, this <laughs> was hiding in the back of someone's yard sale and they had people congregating in front talking and you know selling stuff and whatever and had looked all around and then I asked the lady I said are you guys moving are you just downsizing you know she said she was moving and when she said that I saw a peak of yellow and so I kind of did the <laughs> like what is that behind you and she goes oh do you want this and I was like oh my gosh it's for sale yes because you know it's that time of year right now where you never know whether people's decorations are for sale or not because I can't even tell you how many times I drive <laughs> past people's houses and those inflatable blow ups are down and I'm like, is that a garage sale? Oh no, it's just decorations. <laughs> tell me I'm not the only one who does that. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, you gotta look at the bottom. Look at how beautiful those bells are. This is so, so cool. Let's see if there is a manufacturer. Becco item but there's no date and it is a little faded, but it still has a lot of charm and character to it. Now, also you guys, if any of you know how to open these, any of you blow mold specialists, please let me know if there's a video I can watch of somebody undoing it, just in case the light bulb does work now, but I may want to change the cord out and um, that's a, an awful long way to go. <laughs> to try to change a ball we could say go go gadget arm but i don't think that's gonna work but yeah so if anybody knows how to change out these metal tabs please let me know next we have some more blow molds now these are more recent these i think you could have bought at home depot a couple years back but they are 
big plastic light bulbs, you guys. These things are awesome. Oh my gosh, check this out. I have a green one, a yellow one, and a red one. I think there's also a blue one, but I haven't come across that one yet. But this was super awesome to find. There is a little try me button that you can put on and off. These were only $2 a piece, so I thought that was a great deal because I think they were probably closer to $20 at the box store. And I was excited because I had thought about getting these and I was like, what am I going to do with these? But now that they were $2, I'd definitely find something to do with them. <laughs> and these ones are different because this has just a little LED mechanism inside. And I tested them out and they all work. That's a good thing. And last but not least is the most incredible, adorable blow mold I have ever seen. And I did not even know it existed. Again, at that same flea market, you guys, I'm warning you, get ready to go, oh. <laughs> Look at Santa. You guys, is this not the cutest blow mold you have ever seen? Maybe it's just me, but out of all of the Santas I have ever come across, this is my absolute favorite. And I'm not just saying that because I own it, but because of his face, it is like so retro, so perfect, so sweet Santa. And he's got a big belly too. Oh man, Ooh, I love this Santa so much. You could take all of my decorations and just leave me this and I would be content. He is just so sweet. Let's see who made him. This is a Becco product too. And again, no date on it, but man, that Santa is so special. And his coloring is good. The guy I bought it from, he said he had it inside his house most of the time. He said he took it out sometimes and I can tell because there's a little bit of like dust and dirt in the pits, but this is in such good condition, you guys. He is so cute and he's big and tall. <sighs> now he's in my Christmas display. <laughs> so I just got back from the thrift store, you guys. I was just saying earlier in this video how I've never found like real vintage blow molds at a thrift store and I, <laughs> I just came home with three of them. Oh my gosh. I saw this one in the cart and I was like oh my gosh it's a blow mold in the cart and then I looked over at the Christmas and this was on the top shelf and then Harrison went to go play with the toys and this was in the toys I was like oh my gosh there are blow molds all over the store so of course I searched high and low for more but I wanted to add this in I was editing the video and I just happened to make a trip to the thrift store so the video hasn't come out yet and I got to add this to it. So let's see. So the angel is 1999 Grand Venture. Oh my goodness, she is so sweet. And this snowman, look at his carrot nose. Oh my gosh. He is in really good shape too. Let's see if he has a mark. Just some numbers. and Santa. This says General Foam, Walmart, $9. Oh my gosh. But I had to put these in here real quick before I uploaded the video because I thought you guys would really enjoy seeing my bonus finds. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of those blow molds. I'm definitely going to be hunting for some more. And I got to find Joseph, you know, his family. So that's important. <laughs> all right, you guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love for you to join our Hollywood Haunter family. And you guys also click that notification bell so you're notified in the next video, whatever that may be. And we will see you guys next time. Take care.